Am I the a-hole for asking my fiancé to skip this year's Christmas family vacation because our baby is due? For the past five years, I've spent part of the Christmas season in Florida with my fiancé and his family. Every alternate year, I would return earlier to celebrate Christmas Day with my own family. This year, however, is unique because all of his siblings are able to join us. My fiancé, who suffers from a severe case of FOMO, is particularly excited about this. His parents, while never explicitly stating it, have always seemed keen on keeping their family close-knit. They don't seem to fully accept me as part of their family yet, perhaps because we're not married. Meanwhile, my parents are overseas, dealing with a family emergency involving my grandparent. My mother is aware of the situation and is trying to return as soon as possible. My fiancé and I, both 31, are expecting our first child on December 30th. His family owns a vacation home in Florida where they spend the holidays every year, staying until after the new year. This year, my fiancé agreed not to go because of our impending baby's arrival. However, his family insists that he should go and return on the 28th, which they believe is ample time before the baby is due. Consequently, he purchased a ticket for December 15th to 28th. His justification is that his parents really want him there, and his siblings will also be attending. This situation is causing me more distress than I anticipated. I understand that pregnancies can be unpredictable, especially in the last trimester. If anything were to happen leading up to the due date, I would need him by my side. My parents won't be back until December 26, and my friends will be busy with their own families, leaving me completely alone. Another reason, which may seem selfish, is that I will be spending Christmas by myself. While this isn't the primary reason for my concern, it does contribute to it. He has spent every Christmas in Florida since he was 15, and there will be many more opportunities for him to do so after our baby is born. I can't understand why he feels the need to go this year. Whenever I raise the issue of my fiancé's holiday plans, it leads to a tense argument about my expectation for him to prioritize me over his parents. I've stopped mentioning it to avoid conflict. His parents have been kind to me but they don't see any issue with the situation, which makes me question my own feelings. Am I being unreasonable here? I'm overwhelmed by the number of responses I've received and, while I can't thank everyone individually, I'm deeply grateful for all the support and advice. It's been incredibly helpful, and I plan to share these insights with my fiancé. Update, apologies for the delay in updating, things have been quite overwhelming and I'm trying to navigate through it all. On a positive note, my mother returned home yesterday. After I explained the situation to her, her sister, a retired nurse, insisted on accompanying her. I'm incredibly grateful for their presence. Expressing my feelings is a bit challenging due to a cultural barrier, as my mother is from Hong Kong. Without going into too much detail, the situation with my grandparent was indeed an emergency. However, she has siblings and my father who are still there to handle things. Regarding my fiancé, I arranged a virtual meeting with him and my obstetrician to update her about the situation. Like all of you, she was shocked and strongly advised against him traveling during this period. Her exact words were, in my professional opinion, I'm going to very strongly recommend you reconsider your plans. In my personal opinion, I'm going to insist it. I probably should have informed her about his travel plans earlier. Despite her advice, he still plans to go, but has adjusted his return date to the 22nd. This will allow for a one-day overlap with his siblings. His mother is disappointed that he won't be there for Christmas. She suggested he fly back later on the 25th so he can spend part of Christmas Day with them, but he declined. While this is still not ideal for me, my mother and aunt have insisted on speaking with his parents. We've scheduled a call with them later today. After reading some of your responses and private messages, I reached out to my best friend about the situation. She was furious and made it clear to her husband that no matter what, even if it's on Christmas Day, she will be there for me if I go into labor. She's also staying informed about who will be with me while my fiancé is away and plans to visit. I can't address all the questions about his family as it's too much to write out. Yes, there have been signs that they don't fully accept me as part of the family, like not being included in Mother's slash Father's Day events, being left out of family secret Santa, and not being allowed to sleep in the same room when we visit. I'm aware that his mother must understand the risks of him leaving me at 37 weeks pregnant. She's well informed, as I update her after all my appointments. I have my suspicions about why she thinks it's okay, 
and my mother intends to address this during our call. Some of you have asked how they can afford to go to Florida for a month. His parents are retired and spend winters there, while his siblings and sister-in-law have jobs that allow them to work remotely, so they can work from Florida. My fiancé, being a gig worker, has a flexible schedule. I haven't shown him this thread yet. Right now, it's just another thing I don't want to deal with. I might in the future, but I've suggested we go to therapy before setting a wedding date, which he has agreed to. I'm also seeking counseling for myself. I'm incredibly thankful for everyone who took the time to respond, offer visits, and bring food. This is my first Reddit post, and the support has been overwhelming. Thank you all so much. I'll try to update again after the baby arrives. It might be a while, but please know that I am safe and surrounded by love. Have a safe and happy holiday season. Update 2, Seasons Greetings, Everyone. I know some of you have been waiting for an update, so here it is. Our baby girl was born on December 20th, weighing 6 pounds 10 ounces, at 9.42 p.m. My mother, aunt, and best friend were there during labor, with my mother present at the birth. She's healthy, and while we're all tired, I'm incredibly thankful for the support I've received. My, now ex, fiancé did not make it for the birth. During the video call with his mother, my mom insisted that he return immediately, or she would take me home and they would not be welcome to visit the baby. It was a heated call, but the result was that my mom and aunt packed my belongings and removed to my parents' house, where I'm currently staying. As you can guess, this was a painful experience. I had a distressing phone call with him about his priorities, especially as we were so close to the birth, but the conversation ended without resolution. He hung up on me. I messaged him after our daughter was born to inform him of her birth and her health. He tried to video call several times after that, but I didn't answer. He returned home on the 22nd as planned, but of course, I wasn't at the condo. I think they all thought my mom was bluffing. He tried to visit my parents' house multiple times and even sat in his car outside for hours when my mom and aunt wouldn't let him in. Finally, on Christmas Day, we allowed him to see his daughter, and we discussed our future. I'm deeply grateful to all of you who took the time to respond and offer support. I've never posted on Reddit before, but the support you've all shown me has been overwhelming. Thank you all so much. I'll try to update again after things settle down with the baby. It might be a while, but please know that I am safe and surrounded by love. Have a safe and happy holiday season. My mother and aunt have been quite outspoken about ending the engagement, and I agreed that after the call with his parents, I didn't want to be part of such a self-centered family. He explained that his mother was adamant he take this trip to demonstrate his commitment to mending his relationships with his family and that his sister-in-law had been spreading terrible rumors about me to him and his parents. A few years ago, I had confided in her about some issues I was having with him, and she used it against me. This was the final straw. I can't possibly marry into such a toxic family. So, as it stands now, I have ended the engagement and will be living at my parents' house. We have arranged for couples therapy, with our first session tomorrow. He has apologized repeatedly and asked to stay with me to help with his daughter. My mom doesn't want him sleeping here, so he's been coming by in the morning to help with her and then leaving in the evening. His parents have told him that they would like to see our daughter as soon as they return, and he has video chatted with them once to show our daughter to them. That's essentially where we are now. The situation will undoubtedly become more complex once his parents return, but I can't think about that right now. My baby girl is healthy and has a nursery set up in my childhood bedroom. She's surrounded by people who would give her the world. My aunt, who I haven't seen since I was 10, is here. Those are the positive things I'm focusing on.